Now, any good shopper knows you buy winter clothes in the spring and summer, and the summer clothes in the winter. It saves you money, and you have so much to choose from. Now we can add helping a great cause as a reason to do your shopping this way. Molly Hilbert and Miss Cheryl Mary Hitch are here to tell us how we're doing this. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having thank us. You. you know, this has been a secret of mine that I have always done. I've always bought my clothes off season because you get great deals, and we're doing a big sale of, of winter items, right? We are. Everything in the store with long sleeves, jackets, coats, sweaters, all of that will be half off today and tomorrow as well. And where is the sale taking place? It is at 66 East Pennington Street. Um, it's right next to the Ronstadt Bus Center, so it's real easy to get to. And um, it'll be open today from 1030 to 330. And we're raising money for a wonderful cause. Well, actually, all of the proceeds from the sale will be going to Our Place Clubhouse. Our Place Clubhouse. So let's kind of take this opportunity. You, you got me at shopping, so I'm okay there. <laughs> let's also take this as an opportunity to kind of get educated on Our Place and, and the Clubhouse. So tell me what that is or, or why we've chosen that as the uh, beneficiary. Well, Our Place Clubhouse is a really great program. Um, we target or we definitely want people involved that have an illness of the brain. So we focus on job training, we focus on getting people back into the community, and we really believe that everybody has talents and skills, but they just need a little bit of confidence, and we kind of help give that support and confidence back. And does that kind of go along with like the clubhouse model? Absolutely, yeah. Um, the clubhouse model was started 1940s, and um, it's basically a way to get around people um, who agree, think about things the same way you do, who have been through a lot of the same things you have, and a way to kind of get away from that clinical and go back into being a human, essentially. I, I think that's a great way of putting it. Miss Cheryl, kind of tell me about your experience with the clubhouse. Well, it actually started uh, several years ago, maybe more than five years ago, uh, when I went to uh, COPE, uh, on the south side and um, they started treating me for my illness of the brain. I have been professionally diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder, manic depression, and OCD. And of course, the people with uh, manic depression of the past, present, and future have always been the writers, the poets, the artists, and the musicians. And so I saw this little brochure really caught my eyes when I was going in there to see my people and it said our place clubhouse so I asked one of my caseworkers about it and she said yeah we can get you in there so I um, had to go for orientation um, I uh, had to be referred uh, by one of my uh, caseworkers to go there um, I go there because um, I am a writer, I tried my hand at painting, but we have a writing group on Thursdays at 2.30. Uh, it used to be on Tuesdays at 1 o'clock, but since we've become accredited now, they've changed it. Mm -hmm. But um, I go there, I'm actually retired right now, but I go there to volunteer, except when I don't have uh, laundry to do or grocery shopping to do. Mm -hmm. And because I have an old injury right here, um, I can do a sit-down job. You don't have to go there to actually work the units. You can go there to just to socialize mm -hmm. and just to, uh, because a lot of times I'll read my literature from my church or other stuff when I'm in the mood to read that stuff. But I go there mm -hmm. to actually make me feel good about myself to contribute back to the society because I had a career, I had a child, I had a career and I had another child. And so um, it gives me a reason to get up in the morning and to do something. Well, Miss Cheryl, it definitely sounds like yeah. you have benefited a lot from the clubhouse. And yes. this is exactly why we do these type of fundraisers is, exactly. is in order to continue to do this work. So that's where the funds go, correct? Exactly, yep. Everything goes to our place. Um, That'll fund social events for people. It funds job training for people. Um, we even at the thrift store will give out an interview outfit. So if you need help to look your best on that special day. And it's really all centered around support. And like Cheryl said, the clubhouse is unique in that it's there for what you need. 
instead of requiring that you come a certain amount of hours or you come a certain days, mm -hmm. you come when you can. If you've got other things to do, you can go right. through those things. If well, you need to take a year or two off, you can. And, and then you, you can just come, come back, right and back. No, there's always an open door. Exactly. Well, I think this is a great way to, to get those funds generated. So, Michelle, thank you so much for sharing your personal story. I'm going to remind mm -hmm. everybody, again, those hours for the sale because we don't want to miss it. Nope. So, everyone, remember, the sweater sale will take place today until 3.30 p.m. and tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. For more details, call 884-5553 or visit our ourplaceclubhouse.org.